The sun casts a shadow of a flagpole. The length of the shadow is three times the height of the flagpole. The distance between the end of the shadow and the top of the flagpole is 79 feet. Determine the height of the flagpole and the length of the shadow, round to the tenths place value. Let's let the variable h equal the height of the flagpole in feet. Using the diagram provided, let's label the height of the flagpole h. And then we're told the length of the shadow, which would be this length here, is three times the height of the flagpole, and therefore the shadow has a length of three times h or three h. And then we're also told the distance between the end of the shadow and the top of the flagpole is 79 feet, which means the distance from this point to the end of the shadow to this point, the top of the flag, is 79 feet. Now we need to find the height of the flagpole and the length of the shadow. And we can do this using the Pythagorean theorem which relates to three sides of a right triangle. And the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the two legs, or the length of the two sides that form the right angle, and c is the length of the hypotenuse, this side here that is across from the right angle, and also the longest side of the right triangle. Applying the Pythagorean theorem to our right triangle, we have h squared, plus the square of 3h equals 79 squared. Simplifying, we have h squared plus the square of 3h is equal to 3h times 3h, or 9h squared, equals 79 squared, which is equal to 6,241. And now simplifying the left side of the equation, we have like terms, h squared plus 9h squared, or 1h squared plus 9h squared is equal to 10h squared. Notice how we have a quadratic equation, but because we only have an h squared term, not an h term, we can solve this by using square roots. We will first isolate the h squared and then square root both sides of the equation, which means for the next step, we divide both sides by 10. Simplifying, 10 divided by 10 simplifies to one. One times h squared is h squared. h squared is equal to 6,241 divided by 10 is 624.1. And now to undo the squaring, we square root both sides of the equation. Algebraically, we would have a positive and a negative solution, but because you know h is a height and the height must be positive, we're only concerned about the positive square root or principal square root here. So we have h is approximately, and we are asked to round to the tenths place value or one decimal place. So now we go to the calculator. Now we enter the square root of 624.1. We press second x squared for the square root and then enter 624.1 and press enter. Notice how we have a nine in the tenths place value. The digit to the right is an A, which means you round up. This rounds to 25.0 to the nearest tenths. But we also have to find the length of the shadow, which is 3H. Instead of using the rounded value of H to determine 3H, let's go back to the calculator and use this decimal, which is a better approximation of H, and then multiply by three. We can simply press times three, which multiplies the previous answer by three. Notice there's a nine in the tenths place value. The digit to the right is a four, which means you round down. This rounds to 74.9. So we now know the height of the flagpole is approximately 25 feet and the length of the shadow is approximately 74.9 feet. I hope you found this helpful.